What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko back with another Locals vlog. You guys can see we're actually at Untouchables today. It's a Sunday night. I spent all day working today, just, you know, projects and whatnot. And I wanted to take some time off and play some Yu-Gi-Oh! So in today's video, we're actually gonna be doing something pretty crazy. We're actually gonna be playing a deck that involves Zark in the main deck. Yes, we're playing Zark and we're playing it at Locals, which is absolutely insane. Let's get right in there though, cause it is 642 and Locals is supposed to start, I think at seven. So I gotta get my deck put together and then we're gonna go straight into round one. I kinda wanna show you guys who we're playing though. So let me, let me get right into that. All right, so Locals is just about to start, but before it does, I want to show you guys what we're playing. We're actually playing Dinomorphia today, but we're playing this card right over here, which I absolutely love, Soul of the Supreme King. Now, if you guys don't know what this card does, essentially, it gets you into Zark, and there's a lot of really good Zark targets in the extra deck. So first of all, we're also playing Super Poly in the side deck, which means that one of our cards in the extra deck here that you guys are going to see, which is our Starving Venom, can be used both with the Zark Trap and as a Super Poly target. So that multi-use is really good, but here we can also make Crystal Wing and Crystal Clear Wing, which are negates on our opponent's turn, which is really, really powerful, and it helps us push for a lot of damage, which this deck kind of typically struggles to do, right? So that's essentially the game plan here, is just Dynamorphia, but being able to set up a Zark and set up like a Starving Venom and Crystal Wing and whatnot is absolutely insane. So this is a deck, I can do a more in-depth deck profile for you guys later, but I think I'm very confident with this deck and I'm excited to get today rolling. So with that being said, I think round one's about to start soon and let's get right into it. So you guys are gonna see round one over here that we end up winning the die roll We go first of course and we're able to set four cards You guys are gonna see we're gonna be able to set up our Rex drum with our solemn judgment So we're down to like 2,000 life points at this point and we still have a second judgment and an ash He can't really do much and at this point we just control the board He's gonna continue to play it out although he doesn't really have much to do here Kind of sucks because this is gonna play a factor later into the round But it does take up a lot of time for a second Essentially a lot of nothing but at this point essentially you guys are gonna see we're gonna end up winning our game one going into our game three over here I end up going first game two we actually end up losing but game three here is really important we end up setting some cards over here trying to make a board now we get hit by a gamma seal we use our super poly because he's used his normal summon and he ends up having a second bestial which is absolutely insane there was no way I could predict that at this point we're too low in life points I try to break through the board but he has way too much and we end up actually losing in time so we finished our round two just now i know it was kind of tight we were tight on time i should say and uh we're one one okay so our second round is over we're one and one right now so not the greatest record we lost our round one which is like the worst round to lose but i think we can make a comeback now round one was up against dragon link and dragon link is an insane deck we actually ended up getting game one uh but games two he just made a like crazy board i really couldn't beat it and it was kind of unfortunate it was my bad i definitely should have scooped a lot earlier but i tried to play through and break the board and because of that we ended up going to time and i actually ended up losing in time because we were going to game three and then uh i actually had a really good board but Dinomorphia, you know what it is. It, again, it's completely my fault for not scooping earlier in game two. Round two over here, we end up winning our die roll and we're gonna be able to set up an insane board. We have the Fenrir, we have the Zark set up and Wannabe hits a Frenzy here on our end phase. So we're able to set up Zark plus a Rexdrum. And then on top of that, the Zark trap is then gonna get us access to our Crystal Clear Wing, which is a spell and trap negate. And at this point, I know he's gonna wanna go the monkey board line and we have the ability to stop the monkey board because because of the crystal clear wing we have the skill drain on board and we have a fenrir which is going to banish a card which is just way too much for this player to go through we also here have an intact for the magister and then we just have enough on board to go for the otk but then in my round two i actually ended up winning we were going up against draco slayer pend is actually a, i don't want to say an easy matchup for us but once you put up rexdrum the thing is that deck is really reliant on its uh, monster effects and ignister and all those cards are pretty big beefy monsters so once you get your life points down to 2000 everything is kind of negated on top of that uh game one i actually ended up getting to resolve zark and resolving zark against pend is insane because you summon crystal clear wing and crystal clear wing essentially makes it so that they lose one of their scales right so in his case he wanted to go monkey board i negated the monkey board and then i was able to set up a rex drum and whatnot so that was my first two rounds um, i'm sorry i couldn't vlog but you know it was time i'm sorry guys that's how the anamorphia is and i need to start to play it a little bit better i need to start being more cognizant of the time but we're one one 
and X1 tops today. So I just need to get two more wins. It's four rounds. I need to get two more wins and we're in the top cut. So for round three over here, we also end up winning the die roll, which is really nice. We're able to end on a Fenrir. Plus you guys are going to see that it's a domain that we have set, which means we're able to make Catragina. We're at 4,000 life points. We're also able to use Catragina effect to then later make Rexstrom with 2,000 life points, essentially locking him out of all his Kashtara monsters. We use the Rexstrom effect to get our life points to 1,000, making sure that our eyes heart can't resolve. And at this point, I just battle over the unicorn. He ends up looking up at his options. He realizes he doesn't have any, and then he's gonna end up scooping game one. All right, I don't know if this is gonna stay up. Okay, it's gonna stay up. No, it's not. I'm gonna be honest, the lighting here sucks. We're gonna go over there. Okay, the lighting here is much better. All right, so we just finished our round three. It was against Koshtara. It was a quick, swift 2-0. Great opponent. He's still new to the game, but it's still really cool that, you know, he actually came out and he said like, man, I love this game. And it's so cool that people are, um, like helping me out, I was trying to help him learn the combos, helping him learn how to play the game and whatnot. So that was really cool. We're currently two and one. We gotta go three and one to talk today. So we He's gotta win. Scrub out. Jordan, stop it. Stop it. Jordan, come here, come here. I hope not, man. Losing my round one is rough. Time, it's okay, it's okay, time it's okay. sucks. You lose round one, you never lose after that. So we're, we're two one right now. So I gotta, I gotta go one more W and then we're in stop cut. It's okay. Hit the like button if you agree that he's gonna top tonight. There you go. There you go. If you guys like, I'm gonna top tonight. But yeah, round three was good. We're now two and one. We got one more round to go. All we gotta do is win, and we're in the top cut. We're not doing a top cut like Swiss thingy. We're just doing Swiss. We're not doing a top cut, is what I mean. But the top cut, as in I'm gonna be top four, which means I get prizing, which is really cool. So uh, let's hope we can win our final round. A few moments later, guys, we got we got really good news. Wait, wait, Jordan, 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 come back in here. Tell them the good news. So, because there was a draw, that just ah, my God. <laughs> God damn it. What what just, what just happened? All right. So, Jordan. so because there was a draw, that means there doesn't there is only one XO going into the last round, which means meaning that there will not be a fourth round. So you top tonight. three rounds. You need to hit the like button. And manifest there we go. There we go. You guys manifested it. I mean, honestly, I would have liked to play a fourth round, but I would say it's good news because now we're guaranteed that we top three round locals. Though it's a small locals. I've never done a vlog with such a small locals, but it's actually kind of cool that we can go home early tonight. It's uh, it's 9:05 p.m. So I guess we top and we're ready to get home. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can stick around for a little bit, do some trades, maybe pick up some stuff. Cause I feel like uh, with only three rounds, this is a pretty short vlog, but I mean, well, whatever bro, we're top cut, we made it. Guys, I should have definitely captured this on camera, but we pulled a triple tactics thrust ultimate rare, which is perfect because we only needed one more. And now I have my play set of thrust ultimate rare crazy day we went 2-1 we ended up pulling an ulti thrust which is absolutely insane i'm i really needed this card so i'm excited about it we ended up getting second place you guys can see it right there so 2-1 that's all they needed and we got to second place which is absolutely crazy again i know i've said that like a few times but the fact that i can come to a three man local second place with dino Morphia is not too bad you know three round i said three men three round i think it was eight or nine players which isn't too bad but yeah that that was fun man that was fun the next day guys i'm gonna keep it real with you i completely forgot to end off the vlog after locals because it was like late at night and whatnot but i'm home now it's a different day but i'm home and i wanted to end off the vlog thank you guys all for watching i know it was a shorter vlog i know it was a shorter locals but it was still a good time and if you guys want to check out the full duels raw you guys can check out my brand new channel, which at this point, I don't have a name for it yet. It's probably gonna be Spanko Duels. By the time you guys are seeing this video, you'll see a link at the top of the description. I'm gonna be posting duels every single day on that channel. Whenever we go to locals, I'm gonna make sure that I can film four duels at least for you guys, because usually there's four rounds. So I'm gonna be trying to film three to four videos every time I go to locals, and I'm gonna be posting every day on that channel so you guys can see the gameplay of the deck, the gameplay of my opponents and how they play. And then sometimes you guys might not even see me playing, you guys might see other people playing like feature matches and whatnot. So make sure to check out that channel. It's probably gonna be called spanko duels or spanko something i don't know we gotta figure that name out still but by the time you guys are seeing this there's gonna be a name and everything so make sure to check it out link is in the description thank you guys all for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and with that spanko sign it out peace